Well, moments ago I just finished watching TLC Tables, I was at 2011. I gotta say, holy fucking shit, this pay-per-view was off the fucking hook. Great pay-per-view, probably the most fun I've had watching pay-per-view since Money in the Bank. And that was five months ago. This pay-per-view was just fucking epic. I just want to say something first. This pay-per-view advertised six matches. At the end of the pay-per-view, it had ten. Yeah, ten matches. Well, technically nine, but the tenth one you'll see in a minute. Well, not a minute, but, you know. Alright, take off the night before it started, actually. The video packages, packages they usually play before the you know, show the little intro. The one they had for TLC... That was pretty funny, but pretty dope at the same time. It was like, it was like, perfectly rhyming with everything. It was, it was cool. Alright, anyways. We get to the opener, which was the United States Champion match. Dolph Ziggler versus Zack Ryder. Of course, Vicky comes out, introduces Dolph Ziggler as usual. And the match is underway. Ryder is over as fuck as usual. Uh, match overall, pretty good match. Ziggler was owning Ryder for the majority of the match. And then, of course, you no know, riders started coming back, and, you know, basically like a Cena thing, you know, just start, you know, f f feel the adrenaline, and you start kicking ass. And then, uh, eventually, Vicky Guerrero got kicked out because, uh, Ziggler, or she put Ziggler's foot on the rope, and the referee saw it, and said, get your ass out of here. And, uh, you know, the ending came, Zachary's on the, uh, turnbuckle, Ziggler ran to him, Ryder put high knees up, right to Ziggler. Ziggler turns around, ran right to the Rough Rider. One, two, three. Zack Ryder is your new United States champion. Um, finally happy the guy got it. I know a lot of, of his fans have been wanting him to win the title for a while now. And I think it was a perfectly time in the game the title because now that he's the United States champion, Dolph Ziggler can move on to bigger and better things, hopefully. And uh, it was a very, very good opener. I enjoyed it. Uh, next, you have Booker T and Alicia Fox backstage randomly, like whatever. And then Cody Rhodes tags Booker T, you know, beating him down. Then the referee stops him, and he's like, can you dig that? You know, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, next, we have a match added. Uh, WWE Tag Team Championship match. Kofi Kingston, Devin Bourne versus Primo and Epico. Overall, good tag team match. I It was pretty fun to watch. Uh, Epico and Primo, um, very, very impressive. I've only seen their matches from this week. That were on SmackDown and Tribute to the Troops. So I haven't really seen much of these guys before. I've seen they are pretty good tag team. I like their tag team work. I thought they were pretty damn good. Uh, ending came when you saw uh, uh, Epico break up the pin. And then, uh, you know, Evan Bourne just closed on him through the ropes. And, you know, it jumped off the top ropes onto him. And then uh, Primo went to hit Kofi, and then Kofi moved, and then he hit the Trouble in Paradise, got the 1-2-3 to retain the tag team titles. Uh, pretty good tag team match, very, very enjoyable. Uh, next, we had Josh Matthews backstage, basically updating us on Booker T, saying if he's able to continue or not. They're saying that he may not compete tonight, but that's just, that's not confirmed yet, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, next, you have Teddy Long and Hornswoggle backstage, which Teddy Long was dressed as Santa, and Hornswoggle was an elf. Overall, that was a pretty funny segment, actually. Uh, that was pretty, pretty funny. The things they are saying were just very hilarious. And uh, it was it was a good, like, minute or two segment. Next, you had the tables match. Randy Orton versus Wade Barrett. Um, this was good. I liked this. This was pretty good. I think people, most people, probably didn't like it as much as I did. But I thought this was a very fun match. Uh, Barrett got busted open pretty fast in the match, he had, uh, Randy Orton just, like, you know, slammed the table into his head, like, Barrett was trying to get the table, and Orton hit it, and the table went up into his face, and, you know, when, uh, Orton had the table, and Barrett kicked it, and the table went to his face, that was, that was pretty fun, and I thought they used the tables, like, perfectly, like, every time they saw they're gonna get put to a table, they knocked it over or something, um, it was just a very, very enjoyable match, I liked it, and he came when, uh, uh, Wade Barry put Randy Orton on the table. He went on the top rope to, you know, like, fucking macho man his ass through the table. He jumps. Randy Orton RKO's in midair through the table, went, and Randy Orton wins the match. Pretty, pretty sick RKO. That was very, very sick RKO. That was pretty epic. Uh, I thought Wade Barry looked like he was going down, you know, for the elbow drop. But he ends up going, like, like he's freaking doing a frog splash or something. So I was like, what the hell are you doing, Wade? When it is, Orton wins. I'm not complaining. Uh, Orton 
put Baird over like three times in the past like two months, so I'm not really complaining to be honest. So, yep, breaking tables match. Next we have the Bellas and Teddy Long backstage, basically blah 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 whatever. Swagger comes in and talks about what he saw, what a uh, Big Show did to him on SmackDown, complaining, complaining, complaining. Sheamus comes out and says, "What's the crack, fella?" And then Teddy makes a match between the two for later tonight. So yeah, whatever. Next, another random ass match, a Divas Championship match, Beth Phoenix versus Kelly Kelly. Um, yeah, I just go straight to the ending. Uh, Beth Phoenix did like a backwards electric chair uh, to get the one, two, three to win the match. So yeah, that was whatever. Uh, next, we had Del, Del Rio backstage with Ricardo, Ricardo Rodriguez saying how his car is not there. He can't do his grand entrance without it. Whatever, then Miz comes out and says, really, really, really. They start ch trash talking each other, whatever. And then uh, Miz ends up throwing something in Ricardo's face. He has like his, he brought food for Del Rio and Miz just like hit it up in his face. Whatever. Uh, next, we were supposed to have the Intercontinental Champion match between Cody Rhodes and Booker T. But on Booker weight, Booker's T. <sighs> Booker T's. Sorry about that. Way to the ring. Cody Rhodes attacked him once again. Yeah, nothing special. And then we go to the Sledgehammer Ladder Match, Triple H vs. Kevin Nash, the match we've all been waiting to see. Uh, the match, the first 5-10 to 10 minutes was actually pretty good. I'm not really going to complain, it was pretty good. Pretty good. And then it dragged on way too long. I mean, it was dragging on way, way too long. Uh, this is to the end, because and Kevin Nash took, like, one table spot, and he botched a pedigree at the end, which was like, oh my god, how do you botch a pedigree? And, uh, you know, Triple H got the sledgehammer from the top, of course. And then, uh, you know, Triple H ended up pedigreeing him, and then hit him with the sledgehammer in the head, and he got the one, two, three, and won the match. Yeah, nothing special to talk about, that's why I went through it pretty quick. Uh, we got CM Punk backstage being interviewed. Um, basically asking what his chances are of winning, uh, you know, he basically is like, whatever, I'm gonna retain, Larry Knight has stole my slammy, Larry Knight comes out and says, I sent you your slammy in the mail, blah 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 blah, yeah, whatever. Oh, jeez. Then we have Shamers vs. Jack Swagger. I'm not gonna talk about this, this was pointless, it was like a five minute match. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because Sheamus did like, like a little bowl thing to Swagger, he's like, come on boy, come on, and like Swagger like, Try to spear him or something, move out of the way, and then hit the bro kick to get the one, two, three, and win the match. Whatever match, like I said, nothing special. Next, yeah, Big Show being interviewed. Big Show said he's gonna beat Mark Henry and become the new world champion. Does that happen? We'll see. Because after that, we had the chairs match for the world of weight championship. Mark Henry is Big Show. <sighs> what was the point of this match? This match wasn't even five minutes long. Alright, I'll tell you the whole match. Match begins, Big Show goes outside, throws basically every chair around the ringside and in the ring, so let's go Mark, Mark says fuck this, I'm out, takes the world title, starts walking off, Big Show chases him, uh, Mark tries to hit him with the title, Big Show ducks, hits him with a steel chair, beats him with a steel chair a few times, then Mark Henry beats Big Show with the chair a few times, and then uh, Big Show injures his hand, uh, Mark Henry tries to hit Big Show with the steel chair, Big Show ends up hitting a knockout punch and get the 1, 2, 3, become the new world heavyweight champion. That's the match for you right there, the entire match. Big Show's new world of champion. He's celebrating. Mark Henry attacks him from behind. Gives him a huge DDT on the steel chairs. Then, when that happened, I'm thinking to myself, no. No, 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 no. What happens? Daniel Bryan comes out. He cashes in the money in the big briefcase and becomes your new world heavyweight champion. And you're probably wondering, why are you saying no, man? Aren't you a mark for the guy? Yeah, I am a mark for Daniel Bryan. I'm a huge mark for Daniel Bryan, but... I really want to see him win the title of Mania. I really, really, really want him to win the title of Mania. The moment that they would have had would have just been such a great moment for him. But anyways, comes out, catches in on Big Show, wins the title. And Big Show's standing there like, what the fuck just happened? You know, he's all like in shock, like, what? And Daniel Bryan's celebrating. He's to Michael Cole, like, Michael Cole, I'm world champion. Fuck you. Whatever. And I'm sitting there. I tweeted this. I'm like, I'm very, very happy. But I'm very pissed at the same exact time because I'm happy for Daniel Bryan. But, like I said, I just really want to see him catch in that mania. But, you know, it's whatever. Daniel Bryan, new World of a champion. Fucking pumped. They better not give him the Christian treatment and have him lose the title on SmackDown this Tuesday. 
if they do expect the video about me going off. So I'm telling you that. So new world heavyweight champion Daniel Bryan. Uh, next we have Booker T being interviewed backstage. He says that he shouldn't compete, but he's gonna compete tonight. Yeah. That leads to the Intercontinental Championship match. Cody Rhodes versus Booker T. Very good match. This was very fun to watch. This was it was good. I mean, Booker T was selling his attacks like perfectly. He was selling the injury. And uh, you know, got to the point where Booker T was trying to spin a Rooney, but he well, he was hurting so bad he really couldn't do it. And when he did it, he he couldn't really get back up from it. He's like, "Fuck, I'm hurting." Goes for the scissor kicks, miss. Uh, Cody Rhodes hits a beautiful disaster kick. Uh, pins Booker T. Booker T kicks out. Rhodes is like, "What the fuck? How is that possible?" It's a beautiful disaster again. One, two, three. Retains the round title. Like I said, very good match. Plus. Then we had the main event. Triple threat tables, ladders, and chairs match for the WWE Championship. CM Punk versus The Miz versus Alberto Del Rio. This. This was great. This was great. Spot fest. Spot fest. Uh, immediately we get into the match, double team on Punk, Punk's going back on them, uh, eventually Miz and Delray turn on each other, Ricardo, 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 or Riaz comes a factor in the match eventually, uh, Punk goes to climb the ladder, Ricardo actually handcuffs him to the ladder, Delray gets in, beats down on, uh, Punk, uh, then Punk breaks the ladder, gets free, and then so he's going off on Del Rio. And then uh, he takes a 6-6 six, six spot. Uh, Miz is on the top rope. And looks like Punk's trying to do something to him. Dario hits that 6-6 six, six, uh, insecurity to the head. And Punk falls back right through a table. 6-6 six, six spot. Ch crowd was chaining. Holy shit for that. Can't very, can't really blame him. And then Dario puts the cross arm breaker on Miz with the ladder. And then does it to Punk with the chair. Tries to go out. But you know Punk and Miz prevent him. Uh, Ricardo Riga actually tries to climb the ladder and gets a title for Del Rio, but Miz and Punk push him. Ricardo takes a table spot, which was sick. That was pretty pretty cool. And then uh, you know Miz handcuffs him to the second rope, and then you know he gives him the kick to the head. And then Miz and Del Rio are trying to climb the ladder. Punk unscrews the second rope, gets back in the match, going off on all of them, pushes Del Rio down. Him and Miz going at it. They get down. Punk gives him the Miz a GTS. Goes up. Kane's the title. Very, very sick match. Very, very fun to watch. Definitely match the night. TLC. Two thumbs up. Uh, sorry if this view wasn't very in-depth or long. I just want to get this out of the way. Because, I don't know. I just want to get out of the way very quickly. And uh, how, how long is this review exactly? Oh, 13 minutes. Not bad for a review. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Zach. I'm out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Peace.